Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Tech Rate Reviews. Linux is a really popular operating system. It's used by millions of developers and lots of people are switching from operating systems such as Windows. So today I'm going to be counting down my top three Linux distros. <laughs> Starting off the list at number three is Fedora. Like all of the other operating systems on this list, it will be free. Although some do have paid versions where you get more features. One thing about Fedora is its really clean look. As you can see, the desktop is almost completely empty, and you access your apps by going to the activities, and then it's just a pop-down menu on the side. On the bottom, you get your notifications in this little message bar, and then you have your date and time up here with calendars to allow you to make quick events. One of my favorite things about Fedora was the multitasking. Like Mac, you get a mission control-like thing where you can see all of your open windows. You also get the ability to see all of your open apps on the side and switch between your desktop and open apps, similar to Windows 8. It is also very similar to Launchpad. If you open this up, you can see all of your apps or just the frequently used ones. It doesn't come with that many apps, but you can download all of the ones you'd really think to want from the app store that's built in. If you use Fedora, you'll have no problem finding your way around. It's a pretty easy operating system to use, and you'll really like how it looks and functions. Coming in at number 2 is Zorin OS 7. Now this is a great choice if you're switching from Windows, it'll seem very familiar. In the bottom left, just like in Windows 7, you have your Zorin menu where you can access your apps and files. You also get features such as two-finger scrolling. One of the strong suits of this operating system is the pre-installed software. It's all removable if you don't like it, but it comes with things such as GIMP, which is a great photo editor. It's definitely not Photoshop by any means, but it'll get the job done for most of the things you want. You also get the ability to change the look of the operating system. By default, it does look like Windows 7. But if you want, you can change it to look like Mac or Windows XP or a bunch of other operating systems. A lot of you guys probably saw this coming by. I am giving a boot to the title of the number one Linux distro. It is by far the most popular Linux distribution with over 20 million users. In part because of the great support for it, Ubuntu constantly is updating it, adding new features, and providing support for all of their versions. It's a really simple interface. Your desktop is completely blank to start with. On top you have your notification bar and on the side you can quickly access your apps and then from here you can also access all of the apps on your computer and you will get the suite of LibreOffice. It's very powerful. It includes all the things for basic word processing. One of the best things about Ubuntu is they have a huge software center. They have thousands of apps available to download here in every category. You really can find anything you'd ever need here. Another thing I noticed when using Ubuntu is you get an improvement in battery life over something like Windows. It just doesn't have as many useless things running as Windows does. If you guys have used Ubuntu, you know how quick and snappy it is, and the developer support for this is amazing. There's not really a standout feature of Ubuntu, it's just the combined support, speed, security, and developer support for it that makes it the best Linux distribution. This is only a top three list, there's hundreds of Linux distributions out there, so I encourage you to go and try those. And thanks for watching guys, make sure to like and subscribe.